Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Go with Web Dev. Today we're going to be learning to build out a database. Our database is going to be in MySQL, and I have a lot of videos on that in, in my channel. So be sure to check those out if you guys need a much more stronger understanding. This is more for people that have a basic understanding of how SQL works. But even then, you guys can just follow along. I can't guarantee that you will learn anything, but let's see. So first of all, I'm just going to explain how our database is going to work. So our database is going to have one table. So a table is the category that's going to be stored in. So we have one table called users. Bigger apps have more than one table. Since ours is just a basic app, we're just going to have one. And our users are going to have two columns. One is the username and one is the password, both of whom are going to be strings or varchar in the SQL coding language. So let's just start the video. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just create our database. So to do this, just head over to MySQL Workbench or you know, use whatever database editor you have or even just the raw SQL and just type create schema and just create it and call it mock web. At least that's what I'm calling it. Call it whatever you guys want. But if you wanna follow along with the tutorial, go with this. And all I'm just going to do is hit apply. Okay, well, that was pretty straightforward. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is just, you know, uh, load up a table and a category and two columns inside of our database. All right, so let's start the coding process now. So, what I've done is I've created a file called dbbuilder.go. Make sure this is not inside of your main file, which connects to the app, because this portion of the code doesn't actually connect to the app. So just call it package main, all right? And you're gonna to wanna to import three uh, things, database slash SQL, FMT, and the github.com slash go SQL driver slash MySQL. Make sure to have an underscore right in front of it and a space. That tells the Go compiler that this is an external library to check for it. Now, you don't have that library installed on your computer, or if you do, then just, I guess, skip ahead. But if you don't, then just go go get and just paste it. So now the next thing we're going to want to do is create our table. So to create a table, the first thing we need to do is just go ahead and, you know, connect to the table. So to do this, go db, comma, error, and put in a declarative operator, and just go sql.open. And what you're going to want to do is just specify the type of database it is, which is MySQL. All right. And the next thing we're going to want to do is just specify certain credentials in a certain way. So the... First thing you're going to want to do is specify the name, which is root for me, then the password. So for me, that's just new password. Then you're going to want to do is specify the localhost server. So just go at TCP and just go localhost 127.0.0.1. Okay. And then you're just going to want to go, you know, the end, end. What's it called? End bracket, and then you just go slash mock web. Okay, now that that's over, the next thing we wanna do is just go ahead and check for error. So if error is in equal to nil, then just panic out an error. Or, actually, that, that's not the right way to do it. Panic error. All right, now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just go ahead and create a string. So to do this, just go var query string. All right, and then what we're going to do is just set the query itself to a SQL statement. So SQL statement is going to be uh, create table if not exists. And it's just going to be called users and set the name as a varchar of 500. All right, and then a password Uh, password varchar and set that also equal to 500. Okay, and just close out the brackets. Okay, and make sure there's no spaces here. So let me just see if this is all correct. Great yeah. So what we're doing is we're just creating a table, and only if it doesn't exist, then that table is going to have a name, and it's going to be called users, and it's going to have a name, which is 500 links, characters long, maximum. 
and a password that can also be just 500 characters long, maximum. All right, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is just execute it. So to do this, all I'm gonna go do is just go ahead and go create comma error. Okay, and just do a declarative operator and set that equal to db dot exec. And it's gonna execute the query itself. And then the next thing we're gonna wanna do is just check for any errors once more. And if there are errors, then just go ahead and panic error. And the next thing we're just gonna wanna do is just print out create. FMT dot print line. And we're just gonna wanna print out create. So this will let us know for any errors itself. Yeah, okay, that, that's fine. All right, and then what you just want to do is just go go run main.go. Okay, or wait, no, wrong one. Go run dbbuilder.go. Now, as you can see, if you did this correctly, you're going to get these two memory addresses. If you get a nil, then just go back into the video and recheck your work. So now, if I'm going to go to my my SQL workbench, okay, and I'm just gonna refresh this, uh, refresh all. And as you can see, we now have tables and we have users. Now let me just select these rows. And as you can see, we now have a name and a password. So now we've successfully created our database. In next video, we're gonna learn to get data from our form that we made last video and insert it into the database we made this video. So thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.